CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 176 through 180. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 176. A user needs to configure a new second monitor to extend their Windows desktop. Which of the following control panel options should be selected to perform this type of configuration? The answer is A. System. To extend the Windows desktop to a new monitor, a technician needs to access the system section of the control panel. Here, they can navigate to the display option to configure multiple displays, choose how they are used, and adjust resolution settings. Question 177. A user needs to find the MAC address of their Windows computer to configure network settings. Which of the following commands can a technician use to obtain this information? The answer is C. IP config. To find the MAC address of a Windows computer, a technician can use the IP config command. This command provides detailed information about the computer's network interfaces, including IP addresses, subnet masks, and the physical MAC address. By running IP config forward slash all in the command prompt, the technician can view the MAC address listed under the relevant network adapter. This method is straightforward and does not require additional tools or software. If this was a Linux distribution, you would use the if config command. Question 178. A company's IT department is securing their internal network. They need to implement a security measure that will prevent unauthorized access from devices within the local area network. Which of the following security controls should they implement? The answer is B. Software firewall. To prevent unauthorized devices within the LAN from accessing the file server, the most effective measure is to use a software firewall. This tool can monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules, ensuring that only authorized devices are allowed access. Question 179. A technician is setting up a new computer system for a graphic design project. During the installation of specialized software, the process fails because the hardware does not meet the HCL requirements. Which of the following components is most likely causing the installation to fail? Select 2. The answer is B and C. CPU and RAM. The HCL, or Hardware Compatibility List, ensures that certain hardware components are compatible with specific software. If the installation fails due to incompatibility with the HCL, it typically indicates that one or more critical components like the CPU or RAM do not meet the software's requirements. These components are crucial for the software to run effectively. Ensuring compatibility with the HCL is essential to avoid installation issues and ensure optimal performance. Question 180. During a community electronics recycling event, Volunteers are sorting through various electronic items to determine which require special e-waste recycling due to potential environmental hazards. Which of the following items should be handled with extra care for proper disposal? Select 2. The answer is B and D. Laptop battery and CRT monitor. Certain electronic items contain hazardous materials that require special handling and disposal to prevent environmental contamination. Laptop batteries often contain lithium ion, which can be hazardous if not disposed of properly. CRT monitors contain lead and other toxic substances that necessitate special recycling processes. Proper disposal of these items ensures that harmful chemicals do not leach into the environment, protecting both human health and the ecosystem. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button.
This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.